Hello. So I wanted to do my first get ready with me. I'm not sure how people do this or what they talk about or if they talk about things, but we're gonna figure it out as we go along. Here we go. <laughs> Can't be vampy without candles, right? <laughs> First to start off with BB cream. BB. Oh. I'm uh, not actually sure if you're supposed to use these for whole face coverage, but uh, I do, and I haven't exploded yet, so. <laughs> Next is this little foundation stick. I just use this for spots. I would not recommend using these for full face because Tommy tried that when he did my makeup. I basically looked like I was a lizard woman, so yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was a little bit nervous about filming a get ready with me. Uh, that included like talking. Are you just straight up pointing up my nose? I think you are. Ooh. Nope. So for brows, if you watch my makeup tutorial, I actually, ugh, my finger just went straight up my nose. It's fine. Now I, ain't saying she a gold digger. I have actually changed the way I do my brows a little bit. It's a little bit more advanced now, <laughs> but I start off kind of the same. So again, I start off with this little itty bitty thing that I don't even know who it's from. I got it like seven years ago. It's mainly just to make it so it's not a really harsh line on my operials. Okay, and then I go in with the NYX eyebrow pencil in medium brown. And I kind of just go through and make the shape that I'm going to want. Oh, my eyebrows are bushly right now. Bush. Bushly. And in my makeup tutorial, that's kind of where I stopped. But now I have Anastasia Beverly Hills um, dip brow in chocolate, which is kind of dark for me. But when I went to buy this, I was so excited to buy it and they were sold out of like any other lighter color. A normal person probably would order online or wait until it's back in stock, but I was too excited. So I just got it. And then I got a Sephora brush. That's an angled brush. I'm like a real makeup artist right now. Okay, oh, how do I do this? Oh no. And then I just kinda refine them. This is really hard to do with just a hand mirror. Eh, good enough. I know they say that your eyebrows, usually there's like a better one than the other one, but I don't understand how this one looks like Bigfoot and this one looks like his like moderately well-groomed cousin who like kind of takes care of himself but like not too much because he's still a bigfoot and for this i use the urban decay primer potion and then i kind of just glob it on there so now i guess we'll do eyelashes right excuse you you can come up here if you want to come up here, otherwise, stop meowing about it. I don't know what eyebrow is. Okay. Why do you have to do that? Every time she's feeling cuddly, you just come over and you're just like, No! Come up here then. I just want to um, commend myself for actually getting into this shirt because I have a hard time getting into it when I don't have rollers in my hair 
there's like no leeway here like so basically trying to fit this over my rollers is kind of what I imagine being born feels like it was like that pure panic of like when you're trying something on and you're stuck and you're just like this is how I go but it's okay because I made it through and we're all right now I stretched it out like a lot but maybe that's good so my giant head can fit in there next time Get off my finger! Uh, get off! I just no! Get off! Get off my finger! <sighs> Wish me luck. <laughs> I feel like this is always just a game of odds. Like, what are the chances that it's actually gonna go on smoothly? I don't know. That's the law of probability, I guess. I don't know. I just, I don't know how you make it so that you don't have two rows of eyelashes. I mean, like, I guess that's cool, right? You're like a shark, <laughs> but with eyelashes. Good enough. Every now and then I get a little bit angry that my lashes don't go on. Good enough. You know, thankfully I do a cat eye over lashes because I quite honestly don't know how people do like a natural look at them and then just like hide them. Screw it. Good enough. Good enough. Okay, eyeliner. So I use Stila. I'm gonna be never to freaking do my makeup with a hand mirror ever again. Look at my arms. Get ready with me. Pretzel edition. And I think because we're doing a oh, little vampy look, I'm gonna make these guys, oh, good. I'm gonna make these guys disgusting. If I know anything about stereotypical vampires, it's that they love a good cat eye. Better than sex. I'd like to see a person that can actually say that, like, straight faced and not feel weird about it maybe i'm just a child i don't know do you ever stop to think about why eyelashes are considered attractive because i think about that all the time <laughs> like maybe too much i definitely read about one time what makes someone considered conventionally attractive and it's got to do with like symmet symmetry <laughs> symmetry and then also, I think I read like the more you look like a baby, the more attractive you are. <laughs> That's all I gotta say on that, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> like, why is doe eye aesthetically pleasing? I don't know, but it is. That's your Rachel the Scientist talk for the day. I don't know, it just is. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Sponge Sugar Edition. I got this forever ago, so I'm not sure if they still sell it or not. And it, it kind of looks like it went through like a war. So I'm gonna go in with, hmm, oh, okay. So I'm gonna go in with this kind of gold color first. Thinking back on it right now, I should have saved my eyeliner for the end. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the darker gold and get it all over my goddamn eyeliner that I just did. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna use this gray color right here. My camera stopped recording. I don't know where it left off. So basically what I did was I took that darkest gold color and I kind of went underneath. I'm gonna go in with my highlighter, which is Too Faced Candlelight Glow. And we're gonna do the insides of my eyes. Okay, and then going in with the blush. This is just a cheap blush that I got from Ulta. Just going ham. Never let anyone tell you you wear too much blush. Okay, I'm going back in with the highlighter. Tops on my cheeks. 
maybe a little bit here. Boop. And then I'm gonna go in with Kat Von D's liquid lipstick in Nosferatu. Except it's spelled weird. It's like Nasferatu. I'm gonna add a little glitter. Cause why not? This is uh, Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. And we're gonna add some glitter on my lips. Glitter everywhere. Okay, and now on to the hair. I'm not gonna get too involved in this again because I did a tutorial on basically this exact hairstyle. This is probably my least favorite part. Cause I'm a big old baby when it comes to my hair being pulled. you guys liked it let me know if you do and I will see you in the next video and I love you and you're all amazing okay bye